Watching your teenager or young adult child struggle with unexplained dizziness, fatigue, rapid heartbeat, frequent fainting, and near constant anxiety can be terrifying and frustrating. Every time they stand up or shift positions, you hold your breath, wondering if they'll feel faint or need to sit back down. You've probably been told that POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, runs in the family and that genetics are to blame or that they simply don't know what's causing it. But the truth is the main cause or trigger of POTS is nervous system dysfunction and nervous system dysregulation, specifically within the autonomic nervous system and the nerve that helps control or regulate blood flow, blood pressure, and overall balance within the body the vagus nerve. Vagus nerve dysfunction and something called subluxation is often to blame for this neurological condition that now affects one in 100 teens and is far more common in females than males. All right, now let's talk about the real culprit that triggers these episodes, that throws your child's heart rate up and down, that throws their nervous system inside and out, that causes them to not trust where their body is in space. And again, you'll see that this underlying nervous system dysfunction can actually be the thing that's triggering that kind of constant anxiety and just on edge feeling that too many kids, too many adults struggling with POTS. And then honestly, the loved ones around them are feeling all the time. So the real culprit is nervous system dysfunction, really an overstressed, dysregulated nervous system. In today's world, we are living in the most highly stressful, crazy, chaotic, and busy and super toxic world we've ever seen. And all of this stress, whether it's mental and emotional or whether it's physical from an injury to the neck and the shoulders, which is actually very much connected to POTS, whether it's an infection, an immune system challenge that got into the body, triggered inflammation and started to irritate the vagus nerve, which we're about to talk more about, or honestly, even chemical stress. There's toxins everywhere. And especially one of the theories we have as to why POTS is more common in girls is not only do they struggle more from this physical stress in their neck and shoulders and poor posture, certainly a thing that dudes and boys go through as well, but there is so many chemicals that come into a female's life through skincare products, through makeup, through perfumes. And this is a big thing for, I wish I could just say young adult and teenagers, but we see this happening even with grade schoolers and every everything that's going on in today's world where there's chemicals all over the flipping place and they get into our nervous system and they get in and they cause this dysregulation. So when the nervous system is stressed, it goes into an overactive sympathetic response. That's the rapid heart rate. That's the anxiety. But what about the fainting? What about the collapse? What about the instability that is POTS, right? Well, that's where the posture, that's where the vagus nerve comes into play. So the vagus nerve is our counterbalance. It's the brake pedal to the nervous system. And it is the nerve that leaves from the brainstem, don't, goes down through the neck and through the shoulders, which is there's why there's such a physical postural component. And then it's in charge of calming the heart rate. The vagus nerve is in charge of calming our breathing rate and our respiration. And we now know that the vagus nerve controls our social, emotional, mental health regulation as well. And finally, we know that the vagus nerve controls inflammation, which is why things can be triggered from an illness initially and kind of get down this POTS road. Or if your child struggles with POTS when they are sick and not feeling well, the symptoms of it get worse. We see that all the time in case histories we take with our POTS kiddos and with our POTS patients. So the vagus nerve is really the key to unlocking. And really what we're talking about is getting into the vagus nerve and stimulating it and helping support the vagal nerve tone, which means basically how charged is that battery, how functional is that nerve is essential. And there's one final piece to this conversation. And it's very interesting that POTS, the first word in it is postural. The way the medical world looks at this, they don't really look at it from a physical construct, but that's the missing link. What we find again and again is that our patients struggling with POTS have a severe level of what's called almost physical neurobiomechanical tension. The catch-all word chiropractically is what's called subluxation in their neck and shoulders and thorax. So that leads to not only poor posture, if you look at them from the side, but it leads to this constant tension and irritation and interference or disruption to vagus nerve function. Because the vagus nerve is literally a wire, if you will, that needs to run from the brain and the brainstem down to the, the, the respiration, down to our heart rate. 
And then the vagus nerve goes to our eyes and it goes to the vestibular system and the inner ear and it regulates our postural orthostatic up against gravity balance. So the vagus nerve regulates all this stuff, the cardiopulmonary stuff and the physical stuff. So when all of this is happening, too much sympathetic fight or flight and too little parasympathetic vagal nerve tone, that's another word, very close cousin to dysregulation called dysautonomia. And POTS is perhaps the most common medical term, medical condition where they will bring that term dysautonomia to the conversation, but that doesn't mean they know what to do about it. That doesn't mean they know how to address subluxation, dysregulation, dysfunction, and dysautonomia. This is where neurologically focused chiropractic comes in. We know how to get that physical pressure and stress off of the neck, off of the shoulders, and in turn, off of the vagus nerve. We know how to release stuck tension within the sympathetic nervous system, and we know how to stimulate and activate the vagus nerve and restore balance, restore regulation and function to the nervous system. And when we do so, everything starts to make its way back into balance. And when it makes its way back into balance, now your kiddo, now your young teenager or young adult, or yourself if you're watching this and struggling with POTS, now you can handle these movements much better. Now now you can handle stress much better. Now you can handle going from sitting or laying down to standing up and vice versa much better because your vagus nerve and your autonomic nervous system regulates that. Neurologically focused chiropractic makes sure that that system is back online, balanced and regulated. So that's why your body gets better on its own because we've addressed the real root cause of POTS and its related challenges. Okay, before you exit stage left from this video, I want to show you the exact cutting edge diagnostic technology we are able to use to find this nervous system dysregulation, dysautonomia, and subluxation, and a common pattern from a patient that was struggling with POTS no longer is, and what we see all the time in these cases of dysautonomia and other conditions like POTS. So here already on the screen is what we call a neurothermal scan. Now we use three scans in the office, thermal, EMG, and HRV, and both the thermal technology and that HRV heart rate variability, which you've maybe heard about. If you wear an Apple Watch, a Garmin, an Oura Ring, or a Whoop, it's cutting edge technology that measures how out of balance dysregulated, exhausted is our autonomic nervous system. Now, HRV is a very important um, technology. It's a very important scan we use for our POTS patients to get a broad, bigger picture understanding of how dysautonomic and out of balance their nervous system is. But perhaps even more important for POTS is to be able to isolate and locate exactly where the subluxation is. So I've already done some drawing on this scan because it's a patient from our practice who was struggling. But the first thing you will see is if you look at this very first scan on the left. So this is before they started to get adjusted, before we started to address the root cause of their challenges. You'll see this significant tension up at C1. You'll see this big red bar there. That is a significant or severe subluxation right at what's called the origination point of the vagus nerve, right at what we call the air traffic control. So we like to talk about the upper cervical and brainstem area as being air traffic control for the autonomic system and again, the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve actually makes its way down through this entire cervical and neurospinal system, and it comes down here to where our heart, where our lungs, where even our adrenals and our digestive system would be. So what I'm showing by this, this um, not a very technical term, but a very relative term, when you see this massive squiggly line that's here and all of this imbalance that is showing where it goes all the way left, all the way right, that's dysautonomia. That's a pattern of severe imbalance. You'll see, oops, sorry, wrong thing there. You'll see as care begins, so this is a scan on the 5th of August. This is just 10 days later. You'll see that that upper cervical, which is the primary trigger of this kiddo's pots and challenges and dysautonomia, that upper cervical is still there. But you'll see how much more balanced everything else became. And that's even a little bit more wiggly or squiggly than I probably should have drawn it. So things are starting to organize. 
And now finally, and the reason we kind of choose the green color over here, now you start to see even that upper cervical C1 subluxation. It's not gone, but again, we're only 12 days into care, and you can see the nervous system finally releasing and letting go of that subluxation and that underlying trigger within the neck and shoulders of POTS. I could go on and on about the actual root cause nervous system dysfunction neurology behind POTS. You will not find testing like that anywhere else in healthcare, especially conventional medicine. And that is the thing I wanna send you forward with from this video. You've got to get connected to our office if you are local or to a PX Docs office if you're not. This is the technology, this is the testing you absolutely wanna get your child or yourself through if you are struggling with POTS, because we know it's a big struggle, not only from all the symptoms, but we know you've probably been put through this lab draw and this test and seen this specialist, and you probably don't have any answers at all. And no one has talked about the nervous system, subluxation, and the vagus nerve until this video. So simply click the link that comes with this video, jump up to our bio and find it there, or just put a comment or a DM through, and we will get you connected to your doctor to get these scans run so you can get to the root cause of your POTS and related challenges.